Okay, so now we're going to put in our end panel to close in the uh, belt section. Our bottom piece here is 631295, and there's a, there's a top lip with notches in. That goes up. It just slides into that nest panel section. Okay, and then we're going to take our top section piece. 631304 and bolt that into place. And then we're, then we're going to take the door panel, which is 631. 300 and these I'm going to call them ears. These ears go into the notches on the bottom. And then you pick up just slightly and it'll sit into the ears on the top. Okay, we are going to put our cover on our back extension around the back of the nest. Uh, it is part number 630896, and we're just going to take, pick it up. It does have tabs around the front side to go into the cross, the hole in the cross arm. So we're just going to line that up, bring that back. So this is designed that if, if your nest, if this covers out, sticks out too far on your nest for your particular setup, you can cut sections off. We have a series of holes here. You can move this cross arm back. I believe it's six inch sec sections that can be moved or removed off of this. So then we also have to cover the section between here and this last nest panel. We have two side panels, which are 630895. And again, we have tabs. You're just going to set, set that into place with the, with the extension down. So you've got a perfectly good walking space. We'll put some of those self-threading bolts in here to hold everything in place so it doesn't does not slip. Now we're going to attach what I would call our doghouse or our cover for the idler end assembly. And that is part number 631008. There are threaded studs on the back side of those arms that we put in there. So now we can just thread bolts right into that to hold it into place. Okay, now that we have our whole end assembly complete, on the expeller tubes, we've got a little more tube sticking out of the nest than what we needed. It, it would be recommended to cut it off about two inches past the wall. That way there's a little bit of room for expansion and contraction. Uh, cut it off, try to make it as smooth as possible so it's not a, a scratch hazard for animals or people.